Hey, howdy there again, folks. Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you. Another offering off my sample glider. Yes, indeed, folks. I played a video series of videos I've been doing for a little while now where I go over there to try out food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, and I talk about the stuff. I let you know all that you need to know about the eating and the consuming and the drinking and the stuff and the things and that whole thing. I go, I go over there and I eat and drink stuff on, well, not initially on the internet. You know, now I'm just doing it on my phone in a room in my house. While I'm doing so, got a cool shirt on. I usually got a cool shirt. Society One, excellent band, excellent band. Been around since, I believe, the 90s. Yeah, had to, yeah, has to have been at least the, yeah, definitely been the 90s. What the hell am I thinking? Excellent band. Definitely go check them out. Fantastic. They've been trucking along for a long time. Deserve a lot more love. Uh, top of that, Peter K and Thunderbolt push behind me. Some Marvel figures up there, a little bit out of shot. There's a crappy old ladder back there. If you understand why, then you're an OG sampler platter participant. Whatever. I don't get enough views on these things to go over there and have a fan base. So you don't get to have a fan base name yet. Let's get a few more views. <laughs> but anyway, I'm here to try some stuff, let you know how it goes, all that good stuff. So what am I trying for y'all today, folks? Well, this is kind of a follow-up. Boom! We got Monster Reserve Watermelon and Monster Energy Ultra Watermelon with the power of Ultra. Now, here's the thing, folks. Like I said, this is kind of a follow-up video. Uh, it's not too long ago, maybe a couple weeks back the time I'm doing this. Hopefully, I'll have this posted up later today. We'll see. Uh, I did a review for the... Uh, Pine, uh, the, yeah, the Monster Pineapple Reserve and the Ultra Gold, the Pineapple Ultra Flavor. Which is interesting, by the way, because Ultra Watermelon is just Ultra Watermelon. They just went, they're like, nah, it's not Ultra Red. They already have an Ultra Red. They're just like, fuck it, just Ultra Watermelon. Just get it out of the way. But anyway, I might have even done a Monster... Did I do a review for Ultra Watermelon when it first came out? I think I might have, but that might have been one of the ones that never got posted. I don't know, whatever. So yeah, this is a fun, this is a continuation of that. I mentioned at the time that you know, they just, the time I'm doing this, they just came out with the you know the reserve pineapple and the reserve watermelon. I love pineapple, so I did pineapple first. I was actually just gonna do the watermelon reserve because I honestly completely forgot that they did ultra watermelon. I like watermelon. It's fine. It's not like a top 10 fruit for me. Realistically, the top 10 is all taken up by pineapple, because that's how great a fruit it is. But, anyway. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to try the Watermelon Reserve. Then I'm going to do a comparison. See which one is truly the true watermelon energy drink. So let's give this one a shot. And if you want my opinions on the, the, the pineapple ones, go back and watch that video. Not getting opinions for free. Just watch the video. Uh, hey, folks. At the very least, I don't ever come at you guys with like the, oh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe bullshit. No offense to anybody who does that. Like, you know, I fully understand why. I just don't want to do that. Like, if for one thing, I don't think my content is worth it. <laughs> but uh, you do you. I'm going to bring some watermelon energy. I had a long night at work. Actually, it was a pretty nice night at work, but still. You know. It smells very watermelony. Thing with watermelon flavored stuff, though, for me, and I brought this up in at least one other video. I don't remember which one anymore. My problem with watermelon flavored stuff is they always amp up the flavor of the watermelon. Watermelon by itself is a very mellow flavor. It's not you know, super crazy flavorful. That's why some people like to put salt on it. I don't. I like mellow watermelon. I think it's just a good flavor just as is. When they amp it up, I don't know. It's never my favorite thing. So that's what I'm guessing this will be, but we'll see. Excuse me. That was an interesting belch. It was, 
<laughs> it was kind of a combination of uh, the monster and then like sort of as a a final fleeting after effect. Uh, the the gyro that I had for for lunch at work. Oh. That's actually really interesting. Um, because they kind of amped up the flavor a little bit, but they didn't do it to the extent that most do, where it almost takes on like a very mild tartness, which is part of what I don't like when they do that. I'm not a big tart guy. Um, instead, like it manages to be both flavorful and kind of mellow. It never reaches like a, a full crescendo of that sort of artificial watermelon flavor that so many things do, like um, watermelon crush. Uh, watermelon crush. It, it. I don't think I've ever done a review for it. Um, it's considered this a little bonus review, I guess. Watermelon crush is fine. I, I will drink it every so often. But it, it's like drinking a a watermelon Jolly Rancher. Now, if you're into that, fantastic. I'm not really. So, I'm not that big on it. It's just something every now and again I'll go with. This is not that. It's not even close. It is considerably more mellow. Now, the interesting thing is, I know what watermelon tastes like. I know what artificial watermelon tastes like. This is somewhere in between, and so my brain is a little bit weird on it. Because it tastes good, but it also doesn't know what it's supposed to taste like. Because it's like, oh, it's watermelon. Gotcha. But does it taste like authentic watermelon? No. Does it taste like fake watermelon? No. So it's a cyborg hybrid sent from the future to save us all? Sure, why not? But yeah, that's actually really good. Um, Like, genuinely... I don't know, the thing is, like I said, I, if you're looking for, like, a watermelon drink, I, I would probably recommend, like, Watermelon Crush over this, just because I would think if you're looking for watermelon flavor, that's probably what you're looking for, that more amped up watermelon flavor, but this as a drink, for me, is much nicer, honestly. It's, it's more mellow, it's more manageable to my palate. Um, it's, you know... It's got some sweetness, but it's not a crazy amount. It's very light on the tongue. It uh, doesn't taste heavy. It's, it's borderline refreshing. Which, it's a beverage, but the thing is, most energy drinks, in my opinion, do not taste refreshing. They are loaded up with so much crap to amp up your body. They are, they're about as far away from, you know, intaking something natural to your body as, like, if you were to go over there and, like, drink some gasoline from a freaking gas pump. Uh, you're probably about as healthy, let's be honest. And yet here I sit. So, yeah, that's the thing. Um, but this almost, almost tastes refreshing. Not quite, I, it would need to be a little bit crisper, I think, for it to really taste properly refreshing. But it tastes a lot more refreshing than, like, standard Monster, or pretty much almost any Monster I've had. Even the, uh, even the Pineapple Reserve, I would say. Which I think just plays to the fact that, by its very nature, watermelon, as a, you know, as a melon, as a fruit is a more refreshing thing, you know, it's, it's a, it's a very light tasting thing, it's very watery, watermelon. So, we've got that, well, okay, my overall take of it, would I recommend it and such, I would definitely recommend it, because even if you're looking for, like, that more amped up watermelon taste, I think you could go with this, you might be a little bit disappointed, but I think the overall taste of the drink is actually really solid, it doesn't even taste that much like a uh, an energy drink, which is usually a good thing, uh, at least if you're looking for flair. Realistically, it's probably a bad thing because, let's be honest, energy drinks should probably taste like 
drinking hornets. Because you probably should only do so if you absolutely need to. If it tastes good, you'll be more inclined to drink it. I know that for a fact. I Trust me, I've worked overnights for 12 years now. You can trust this guy on energy drinks. But yeah, that's... I, I would recommend it. It's a good tasting drink, and I'm sure it'll, you know, do the energy stuff. It's got a thing here. Uh, I suppose... Yeah, it's all the... It's the same crap that was on the, the pineapple one. So, okay. So let's take away from that. Ultra Watermelon. I have not had Ultra Watermelon in a while. Like, since it first came out. Um, usually when Monster comes out with a new flavor, I'll buy one, try it, and then add the can to my ever-growing weird collection of energy drink cans. Uh, I have some weird stuff, like things that only existed for like 12 minutes in Beirut. Trust me. Um, every so often I find one that I actually really like, and, you know, I, I'll add it in occasionally. You know, like uh, Ultra Black is so pretty solid, Ultra Gold, Pineapple. Oh, there's like the Mango one. This one apparently didn't end up making the cut as far as like a, a preference one, so... I'm almost going into this blind. It's been long, that long, so let's give it a shot. Oh, Monster Energy. Please sponsor my videos, even though they're not very good. Right off the bat, that is a super different smell. Like, 100%. That is, that is a much more energy drinky smell than the other one. Okay, so all the things that I just said about the the watermelon reserve, this one right here, if if you'll recall, all the things that I just said about it being refreshing, not having that amped up watermelon flavor, not having that tartness that I you know I'm not that big on, all of those things don't apply to this. This is exact. If you are looking for a watermelon uh, monster, this is probably going to be what you're going to be looking for because this is much closer to like a, a standard uh, artificial watermelon flavored drink or anything. It's it's a much punchier flavor. Uh, it's not mellow at all. It has a bit of a tartness to it at the end. Yeah, this is it's not terribly refreshing although i will say as an energy drink it might have an advantage over the other one over the watermelon reserve in that let's say we're going to grab this from your fridge you know you maybe you just woke up or maybe you're you know on the road somewhere or something this has definitely has a stronger kick to it uh flavor wise so you know maybe that'll play a part in waking your ass up a little bit more let's drink a little bit more Yeah, like, it's, it's much tartar. Um, yeah, very different flavors. Very different. That's one thing I'll say. Uh, you know, I'll give away a little bit about the, the pineapple uh, video I did. Both of those were very different flavors. This is the, very much the case with this. See, this is what I was talking about earlier. This, with the way that it tastes, because it's more mellow, because it's a little bit more reserved, bleh, I'm coming back around. This is a beverage that I could drink willingly pretty much whenever. This is an energy drink. This is something I would drink if I needed to wake up or needed to continue to stay awake. That is the purpose of this. It's not bad tasting. In fact, by energy drink standards, although I will say, energy drink standards have upped significantly within my lifetime. From the time that energy drinks were first, you know, kind of brought over to the United States to where they are now, um, flavor-wise, they've done significantly better than they originally were. 
there was this one, it does not exist anymore, uh, but it was, like, right when energy drinks were starting to become a thing in America, like, Monster had come out, but it only had, like, two flavors, uh, Red Bull was around, you started to see, like, you know, these little startup energy companies, and there was one, I don't know if it was, like, called Chronic or Crank or something, something like that, Crack, it, it was... And it tasted like drinking cigarette butts. I swear to fuck. And I'm not the only person who thought that. I I bought the stuff and literally roundtabled it uh, to everybody that was hanging out at this uh, this one get-together that me and my friends were having. And oh, the only person who liked it was my friend Mike, uh, who was already into energy drinks at that point. He was an early adopter. He was willing to go with it. Everyone else was like, that is just awful garbage. So, that's the story. Um, so, okay. Between these two, which is my preference, which one's the victor, I mean, it really does come down to what you're looking for. This tastes better, to me, overall. Like, it's not even close. This is a much more pleasurable drinking experience. This, however, I think is the better energy drink experience, because... It tastes a little bit like regret. It's not bad tasting, mind you, but it's it's strong enough to let you know maybe whatever has brought you to this place in your life where you're going over there and buying Monster Energy Ultra Watermelon, maybe you ought to, like, get back to school or, uh, you know, <laughs> start uh, flying the straight and narrow. Just saying this is just a good watermelon drink, honestly. Yeah, I, I I, mean, both are actually perfectly fine, though. But like I said, this is something I would drink just for shits and giggles. This would be strictly for energy drink purposes. So, um, I would, I'll say this, though. I'll do a little mini review of this one. I would still recommend this one, though. Um, for, if you're into watermelon stuff and you want an energy drink, this would probably be the better option, I would think. Uh... But, don't, don't do that to yourselves, folks. Let's all do better. That's why I'm here, folks. I, I sit here, I'm in a room with hamsters and Peter Can Thunderbird Society one shirt. Let me do this stuff, folks, because it's, it's just simpler for everybody that way. Anyway, that's going to do it for the review. Uh, if you could... Five things for me, folks. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of your week. Money well till the rest of your month. Spend this rest of your year. Go over there and have yourselves a watermelon reserve-tastic rest of your life. That's not bad. This was the winner. It beat out the other one. It was first place in a race of two, but that's still pretty good. So, do that. And then, if you could, folks, final two things for me. Number one, try to bring some positivity into the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated, even if it doesn't always feel like it. But sometimes can't do it. I know I can't do it all the time. What do you do if you can't do it? Try not to be an asshole. Can't put the good stuff out there. Let's not take it away. Try to mitigate the level of assholishness in your day. That's all I'm saying. Final thing for me, folks. Do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to do. Go out and, you know, maybe you're going to go over there. You're going to come up with the next Monster Reserve flavor. Monster Reserve Blueberry. Monster Reserve... Uh, cactus, Monster Reserve uh, Chinchilla. Let's yeah. Let's be honest, folks. If they come out with a Monster Reserve Chinchilla, you will see me do a review of it, provided I'm still alive and haven't hung myself out of shame by that point. Or maybe go over there and I don't know, adopt a dog or something like that, or. Uh, Build a shed. People like sheds, right? I don't have a shed, but other people do. Anyway, folks, bye.